Sean, what a win! First game as Everton manager, you've beaten Arsenal 1-0, best team in the league beaten, big celebrations tonight. Well look, you know, when Mr Machinery gave me this job, he said to me, look Daishi, he said I'll give you a 25 million quid bonus if you can win more games than Frank Lampard did as Everton manager. I'm already 25 million quid up, get in there! Oh my god, it took me one game and I've done it. We're real men. The boys have shown today that they are real men. Arsenal's, Arsenal were gone. I seen Arteta in the tunnel and I grabbed him by the unibrow and I said to him, if you even dare try and beat me today, I'm going to throw you in the trophy cabinet. There's loads of space in there, mate, and you know it. That's where you're going. His legs went. He grabbed himself. Big celebrations tonight. There's going to be pints of wine. There's going to be pints of lager, pints of cider. And that was just before the game. Nah, but tonight, Everton fans, get yourself down to Pot World, Liverpool City Centre. I'm working the other job on the doors. No trainers after 11. Two for one on Blue WK days. And what did you think of the playing with the banner? Time to go, Bill. Flying over Goodison Park during the game. Well, look, you know, when I seen the plane going over Goodison Park, you know, I seen the words time to go, Bill. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't went out and ordered that flag, really. It wasn't nice, but I don't like him. I just, he rubs me up the wrong way. And like the Everton fans, I just want to get him in a headlock. You know what I mean? I really do. But he wasn't there today, so who cares? Not just aggression on the pitch. You and your staff seem to get very angry and very physical on the touchline, Sean. Well, me and my backroom staff are real men. We're real men. Me and Steve Stone, you know, we used to play the Mitchell brothers at EastEnders. No one messes with us. Dirty Den, you know, we got rid of him. Alfie Moon, all them. And, uh, and that's how I met Bill. He played my mum, Peggy. Dwight McNeil, so much better today. You worked with him at Burnley. Do you think he can win these fans over? Dwight McNeil's a good lad. He's a good lad. I say to the Everton fans, be patient with him. You know, he's a young lad. He's only 37. He's got time on, on his hands. And listen, he's won games of his own at goodness of this season. You know, for Southampton and, uh, and Wolves. They'll be fair to him. But, you know, he's a great lad. Be patient with him. And what are you trying to do at Everton, Sean? Do you want to bring success back to this club? Look, we are real men, and what we want to build here at Goodison Park, we want people to fear coming out. We know people are terrified to come to Goodison Park. Especially Ken Wright and the rest of the bleeding board. Ah, if they even dare show up, me and the fans, headlocks, left, right and centre, I'm telling you that. The Everton fans already love you, Daishi. Do you have a message for those supporters? Look, a lot of the Everton fans want to be Elsa. If he was in today, it would have finished 32-25. We all know that. You've got the real man in Daishi. We're going to smash it next season. We're going to win the auto windscreen shield. Ashley Barnes, Jay Rodriguez up front. Um, we're going to smash it together. But listen, we are Everton. We wood, we nails, we bricks. We put 57-year-old women in headlocks. And we beat Arsenal.